Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a video on how you audition at a strip club. So I'm going to do everything from getting prepared to the actual audition itself. So if you guys want to learn how to audition at a strip club, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do when auditioning for a strip club is you need to find out which club you're going to apply for. So whether that means just Googling like strip clubs near me and finding strip clubs that are near you that you want to work at, or maybe you want to work at one far away because you don't want to be around people you know, whatever your preference is, you need to find a club that you want to work at. And then you can either just drive up to the club and see if they're hiring, or you can call first just to make sure. I would definitely recommend calling first because some clubs only hold auditions on certain days or at certain times. So if you see a club that you like, I would call the number and then ask them if they're auditioning and then they'll tell you what time and if they're auditioning and when you can come. And then also ask them what you need to bring, especially now because of COVID-19, the rules might have changed a little bit. I know at our club, we usually let girls borrow dresses and shoes and stuff like that when they audition, but I know we might not be doing that just for the next I don't know, a couple weeks until like the pandemic stuff clears up. So when clubs do open back up, they are still probably going to be accepting new girls. Because I know when my club opens up, we are still accepting new auditions. We just might not be sharing clothes, like I said. And if you guys want more information on like how the club is going to change after COVID-19, I did do a video with my house mom. So I'll leave that link down below. And I answered like a whole bunch of questions on how the club is going to be different because of COVID-19. But yeah, so... Without further ado, I'm just going to show you guys what you should bring to an audition. So y'all know this is my stripper bag. So the correct thing that you would want to wear are a pair of stripper heels, which look like this. So these are just like a basic pair of stripper heels. Because what you need to audition at my club at least is a pair of heels, a dress, and a thong. So those are stripper heels. Another pair of stripper heels. And then this is like a standard stripper dress. It's nice to wear something that's stretchy that you can take on and off easy, small, cute, and stretchy. So these are like the basic stripper dresses. And this is like a basic stripper thong. So standard, if you already are a dancer and you're gonna go apply at another club, I would recommend just bringing one of your regular dresses, a thong, and a pair of stripper heels. But if this is your first time ever auditioning at a strip club and you don't have any of these things, I wouldn't go out and buy them because what if you go out and spend all this money? Because stripper heels are not cheap. So I wouldn't recommend going out and buying stuff until you actually get the job. So if you don't have any of this stuff, then I'm going to show you guys what I would recommend bringing. If you don't have this stuff, the clubs might not be able to let you borrow stuff right now just because of like all the COVID things. So just to be safe, these are some things that I would recommend bringing if you have never worked at a strip club before and you have no stripper wear. So instead of regular stripper heels, you can just bring a pair of basic heels that you just have in your closet. Most girls have just like a regular pair of heels laying around. So I would just bring any cute pair of heels that you're good at walking in. So just something like this or like this, you know, just a basic heel that you have just so you have a pair of heels. And then dress wise, I would just bring any dress that maybe you would wear to the club or out somewhere or like to a homecoming. So these are all just like regular dresses that I had in my closet. These aren't even my stripper dresses. These are just regular like basic dresses you can even just have like a regular like dress like this that's stretchy just something simple so that they can like see your body maybe it's tight and stretchy so you can just have like a cute simple dress like this to bring for your audition and then if you don't have a stripper underwear then you can just bring any regular thong like from Victoria's Secret so literally you can just wear like a thong that looks like this So it's just like a regular thong from Victoria's Secret. A normal thong or something like this. So basically the very first step would be to find a club that you wanna work at. And maybe you wanna try out three different clubs and see which one you like the best. But I would just pick a few clubs that you're interested in working at and call them, ask if they're hiring, when they're hiring, and what you need to bring. If you have stripper stuff, great. If not, just bring a regular thong that you have a regular pair of heels and any dress that you have and then go to your audition so now we're gonna drive to the club and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like to audition so let's go 
Okay, you guys, I'm about to leave for the audition. So I just have my stripper bag with all my stuff in it. And I'm just wearing literally a sweater, sweatpants, and chanclas to my audition. Because you don't have to dress up in the dress for the audition. Because there's locker rooms and they'll let you change there. So you can literally just look bummy when you walk in. And then change into the dress once you get there. Or you can wear the dress there. It's like I'm driving to the club right now. And I know I said that you don't need to like dress up fancy like on your way to the club, but I would definitely recommend having your hair and makeup done because you're making like a first impression, you know? So I know I didn't do my makeup really crazy, but my hair is curled, you know? So have like your makeup and stuff done and then so where you can just throw on the dress as soon as you get there. So yeah, basically I'm just driving to the club and then I'm gonna show you guys step by step how the auditions take place. At least at the club I work at, cause I know every club holds auditions differently, but I'm pretty sure they're similar in every club. So I'll see you guys when I pull up at the club. Okay, so as soon as you pull up to the club that you're going to apply for, there's gonna be a person at the door that's gonna greet you, whether it's a coat check girl or like a security guard. So you're basically gonna tell them that you're there to audition and they're probably gonna call a house mom or a manager to come grab you. And then as soon as they get you, they're gonna walk you through the club all the way to the back dressing rooms where you're gonna get ready in your dress and your heels and everything to audition. So once you get to the back dressing room or locker room, they're gonna tell you just to get ready. So this is where you're gonna put your heels on, your dress on, get yourself ready to go. So as you can see, I have everything laid out here. I have the garters, the dress, the underwear, and the heels. You don't need garters just to audition. I just put them there. And then if you don't have something, the house moms will have dresses there for you to buy. Usually they let you borrow them, but I don't know if they're still going to let you or every club is different. So you might be able to purchase something when you're there. So these are just some examples of stuff that my house mom had. And then once you're completely done getting ready and you got your little outfit on and you're ready to audition, then you tell them that you're ready to go so once you are done changing and getting ready and you told the house mom you're ready to go she's gonna walk you out to your audition so at my club the auditions are held at the very front of the club in the vip section so she's basically just walking me through the club explaining to me how the rules are for the auditions the auditions are anywhere from like 30 seconds to like a minute or two long you're basically just on stage for a song. You do not have to do any pull tricks. Pull tricks are actually not even allowed on the side stages. So don't think that you have to climb up there and do anything crazy. They really just want to see what you look like, what your body looks like, and things like that. So you just can move around a little bit. I'm not going to show you um, a full audition just because at my club, you do have to take your dress off during your audition. And every club is different. Some clubs are fully nude. So you might have to take your dress off and everything else. And some clubs are only topless. So it really just depends on the club, how the audition is held. And then while you're auditioning on the pole, the house moms are watching you and deciding whether or not they like you to get the job. After your audition is over, you're just going to go back and change into your regular clothes. And then one of the house moms is going to tell you whether you got the job or not. If you did get the job, you're going to have to fill out a contract. And then they're going to give you a tour of the entire club. If you came in early, you might be able to start that same night. But if not, they might tell you to come back the next day or whenever you're free. Okay, you guys, so that's basically how a standard audition goes at my club. Like I said, every single club is different, but there are some things that I wanted to point out that might be different about your club or some things to remember. So I would definitely recommend calling the club first and asking what documents you need because sometimes you need to bring your social security card with you. I know I had that problem when I was in Texas. I needed to have my social security card physically with me, but when I applied to this club in Chicago, I didn't need that. So you should ask them what documents or what cards you need. You might need a valid photo ID. You're gonna need an ID of some sort to prove your age. And some clubs you have to be 18 to work, some clubs you have to be 21 to work. So every single club is different. So it's very important to call and just make sure because you don't wanna drive all the way over there and then you don't have the proper documents or the right things and then you're not able to audition. So that's one thing that's really important that I forgot to mention. Also, like I said, every club's different. Some clubs you can audition in a bikini. Some clubs you might have to be nude to audition because maybe it's a fully nude club. But my club, we do wear dresses and our club is not fully nude. So you don't have to be fully nude ever. It's actually not allowed. So it really just depends on the club. That's why I can't emphasize enough to call beforehand just to know the rules of that club. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much it. If you plan on working that day though, like if you wanna audition and work that same night, 
Um, I would definitely, like I said, call and then see what time they hold their auditions at because if you come early, then they might let you work that night. But if you come too close to the end of the night, they might not let you work because you do have to do like a little orientation. You have to fill out a contract and they're probably going to give you a tour of the club and they're going to tell you all the rules, how much dances are. At my club, if you're underage, you have to wear a bracelet because you're not allowed to drink. So every club has different rules and you're going to have to learn the rules of that club. So what I showed you guys was kind of like a standard audition. I hope it was still helpful. My house moms actually filmed a video that I will leave linked down in the description below where they go into a little bit more detail about what to bring to a strip club audition or what to have in your stripper bag if you're a traveling stripper. So if you guys want to check that out, my house mom May and Denise did a video so I will leave that linked down below. But it's kind of similar to the video I just did but they get a little more in depth about some things that are really important. So I would definitely check that video out. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.